So, setup wise, for the most part, I haven't really changed. There was a couple at the start when I think you were trying to feel tall in the backswing. Yeah. You just got tall at the setup. Okay, so don't change your setup, try and implement this position on the way back. Okay, just stand at the same sort of position we're going to try and get with that spine angle over the ball yep. there now. If we just stand up taller, it's not really yeah, going to happen. Really you, you'll end up dropping down more because you can't swing from that tall position. You have to, you'll start creating more of a dip anyway. So we've got a left hand one. Well, these, these are sort of two practice swings. You can sort of see your head sort of going down towards that white line. And there's your club. Very collapsy yep. over the top. Now, you look at this back swing on the practice swing. Different, isn't it? Hell yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Massively, Hell yeah. And again, I've not said to you, keep your arms straight or get the club higher. You just said get that, just maintain your posture, yeah. basically. Not, don't swing shorter. Not, don't, there's one kind of thought like getting that left shoulder kind of almost higher and you feel tall in the back swing. Yeah. Creates a better position using the golf ball. Again, you're a lot more free with your arms as you come back to golf ball. Good strike through those two tee pegs, you can see. Yeah. They hit the ground there nicely. No T peg gone, so lovely, lovely movement there, okay. And then through to target. It's a little bit of this sort of slightly closed up here now, but compared to to that. <laughs> yeah. That your yeah. hand's almost like sucked into your body, you got no because it's so kind of so tucked up into it. Yeah, exactly. Well exactly. I mean look how much look how much the lower half's not moving. It's just loads of extra things that's not gonna help your swing there. So and then in terms of the shot, okay. Even bigger swing, I mean the club yeah. disappeared now, okay. And again, as you know, the practice things will always be shorter because there's less momentum, okay? So with this one, we'd expect it to be a bit longer. It's not. So great. I mean, compare those two there. I mean, that is literally just... That's just night and day. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, that club... It's not like the club is sort of, sort of brushed out kind of from like where it should be there somewhere. Yeah, just, yeah. But the collapse, because of your spine angle tilting and the arm kind of bending and yeah. the wrist cupping, your club now is down and we just can't see it. Okay, it is there obviously, as we know, but yeah, the different change there. So as you come back to golf ball here now, now your club's reappearing very much sort of slightly steeper there, whereas this club comes back down now through underneath your shoulder, through your bicep more, so much better position there, rather than sort of through your shoulder and steep. So your angles now in the golf ball are a lot better. You're not coming over the top and slicing it. Your club now coming in from a slightly more this angle yeah, rather than down. the steeper angle, okay? As you come in the golf ball here now, club you can see now slightly out of the shaft almost dissecting the ball less a bit outside slightly yeah. and then swinging through a bit low and a bit cramped there with the shoulders okay through to this one to the shaft now a lot more kind of away from the ball great strike of the golf ball and look at that kind of follow through i mean that's that's the fullest i've ever seen you follow through the golf ball ever yeah i mean your hands kind of come around there's actually daylight between your hands and your head yeah. which i don't think i've ever really seen before looking down the line here that easily okay much more space through there, and again, that ball just <laughs> sailing the way down the range. And just, just that extension there, there's no, it's, just, it's all kind of like, it's still stuck in that final, only because your head moved down and then up and trying to chase after it. You haven't really extended to the shot. So that lack of extension, that looks a lot more free for me compared to. It looks like there's more effort to be like, like try and lump it through because your yeah. arm will try and get past your body because it the almost looks right, it seems and, so and I think the reason why the words are felt easier because your arms have got space to move. Yeah. I mean, in the past you were sort of here and you're moving down here. Your arms, are, your arms are going to go across your chest now, which gives that kind of like almost like effort, a lot of effort in the swing to try and get anything. And generally, if you're near the ground, you're going to miss it the ball anyway. So, given that kind of freedom now for your arms to swing. A lot wider than that. How that club is there. Get your arms there. That's basically the same position post impact. Yeah. I mean, like, incredible. You're just like your head looks down. Exactly. Yeah. Further. They've got so much more space to go. Again, the same. When I said you throw that ball towards the screen, that's what your arms kind of look like when you finish. There's none of this kind of like in here somewhere. But keeping that same good posture, we're not changing your posture, just being aware we're not trying to get taller at setup. Yeah. Maintain that posture, so get that, that left shoulder almost feeling a bit higher as you go back, so it gets that club into a better position, yep. okay? When you're swinging back, we're looking for kind of something that resembles that there. If we can keep getting to that position, I guess you've got to have a, a great chance to hit three wood and drivers, believe it or not. <laughs> all right? If you get a position where you're here now at the top of the back, so it's all kind of just collapse and just here, you need so much loft in your hand to get the ball up in the air. Yeah. When you go beyond 
seven, I guess, is it your tipping point? Six uh, iron, five yeah, iron, it's kind of like off, off a tee, off I can hit it, yeah. yeah. um, off the ground, yeah, six and yeah. five tend to be yeah. very And then hybrids with a no no, off a tee peg again, um, not too bad off a tee maybe. Yeah, t- off the hybrid, yeah, tee, fine ridge, yeah. then off the floor again, sometimes. Probably, not. you have more club head speed, which is a lighter and longer club, which will help get that ball up. But yeah. Unless you have to actually flush it. Now on the golf course, you often find our swing gets slow because we get a bit kind of like guided. On here, we're whacking it pretty yeah. freely, okay? So getting into that better back swing position there, go. And from there, we can just, again, practice finding the ground. Use those two tee pegs there. Just put yeah. them either side of the golf ball on the ground here. Do that for five minutes a day. Yeah. Doesn't have to be like hours and hours spent doing that, okay? Sometimes you miss it. Sometimes just, if you can say, okay, I'll do 10 swings, just 10 standalone swings. How many times do I miss the tee pegs? If it's seven out of 10, great. Next time, try and get eight, then nine, and then ten. Make it a bit close, and just, just just challenge yourself. Make it harder and harder and harder, rather than sort of just keep beating golf balls and trying to adjust things randomly. Exactly. Okay, mate. Makes sense. Yeah. Good man.